We are Luca and Sara. For the past three years we have been living and traveling in our old truck camper. Last time we have painted our camper was in the Tatacoa Desert, Colombia. Today we will be taking care of the interior. Good morning beautiful people! Good morning! Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything and Wonder! Today we have a lot of jobs to do inside Lucky Liu. A kind of a little makeover and we will clean a lot. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, let's do it. Before starting cleaning everything, we have to empty our camper and bring everything outside. But first we need to prepare an area outside where we can put and store everything, Why we will work inside our small camper. Inside here is a mess. So we have to empty all of these, all of these. We have a lot to do, a lot to do. We will remove the mattress from inside the camper and we will paint all the area underneath the mattress, the over cab area of the of the camper. It's a queen size bed guys. It was a king size and then we cut on the side to to make it smaller. So. Okay. Adesso vai dalla parte della cucina e fai attenzione che non batta di niente. Okay. Ok. 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 All the old truck camper, they have a problem. In this area, you will find a lot of moisture, humidity. When we bought our truck camper, we discovered one day after that all this area was rotten underneath. When you buy a camper, be sure that nothing is rotten. Always remember to take off the bed, the mattress, and look, look under. underneath. It's all falling in parts. You can see there, it's all breaking and falling down. We were upset and disappointed. Every little penny counts. We had only one choice, making the best of a bad situation. We went back to the couple who sold us the camper and we asked for $500 back and the possibility to fix the damage over cap bed area in their backyard. There is all water. Can you see the water there? Yes. Look at here. Oh, it's completely wet. Completely. So please watch our videos when we bought the camper and when we discover this nightmare. What we have been trying to avoid during these three years is to recreate the habitat for moisture, for mold, because it's really unhealthy. When we remake our truck campers, you can see two different videos when we were in uh, Canada. We need to rebuild, you see all the cabinets and insulate all this area here because it starts to be really cold during the night. Mine is 11, we are just in October.
you can see here one video and then the second video so you can have an idea how was the camp before and how we refurbished the camper inside we will remove this and we will show you how it's underneath so these ones are insulation sheets uh, yeah. we put for the humidity for the cold uh, because it's super cold uh, down there and as i'm removing it uh, you can already see how humidity and how the mold uh, start uh, affecting the plywood uh, all this plywood was new we yeah. put it new a uh, few years ago two, two and a half years ago yes uh, so in two years and a half you can see already the damage of the humidity i will show now and guys the smell you can really feel the smell of uh, that wood over there okay you see when we bought lucky you all this area was destroyed and or we rotten. or rotten we need to destroy everything here and rebuild from zero the cabinets and this area what we will try to do today after removing all these and cleaning this area it's, we will... it's to paint it uh, with yeah. um, waterproof paint uh, and try to you know make some uh, leave it uh, like this uh, without anything so it can dry it's a warm day it's sunny today even if uh, we are in patagonia and the temperature is starting to go down as soon we have a nice day with sun and without wind it makes it get warmer right now in here there are 20 21 degrees uh, meaning 70 fahrenheit so it's a good temperature it's not cold it's not yeah. warm Okay, remove everything and then I will clean. My best cleaning friend in the camper is this little vacuum that we bought in Canada. It was one of the first things that we, we bought in Canada and it's a magic. Like I use it for everything and we really recommend to have one of these in your camper. Especially when you are doing all your cleaning. It's small, you can charge, with the, it's perfect with the solar panels. So must have in the camper. This is what you can find underneath your mattress, hair. cleaning this area we just realized that underneath the sink the wood here is it's wet so probably we have a leak somewhere but I don't know where we notice a kind of change of of the pressure of the water pump and when I was washing the dishes I noticed that I have less water but you know when you're using water inside your camper we never use on the maximum of the power so it's hard to see where this leaking is coming from but we will try to understand well, here's the situation here are you removing everything yeah there's a lot of yeah You have to empty everything there. Our camper is small, but I can assure you that we have a lot of cabinets and room for everything we need. Probably more than what we need. We need to empty all the cabinets because especially that area is the most affected area by the moisture. All this stuff, uh, yeah. everything you can see here, all this, uh, was all in here so imagine how much stuff you can just fit in one uh, little cabinet uh. okay while i was removing everything from the sink because i want to clean everything and we want to remake and repaint this stove top because it's completely destroyed look what i found <laughs> garlic with a small plant so now luca will plant this outside 
we don't want to throw this away so we think it's great to it was growing in the sink yes it was growing like it was inside like this all the way down and i said what is this let's get a bottle i will cut this bottle so we can put the plant uh, some soil it's full of soil all over the place uh, Perfect. Get some soil. Sarah. Yeah, I'm cleaning all this area because then uh, when we finish to paint this area and all the camper we need to wait a little bit and in this time we can work on the stove top of the kitchen. We have to remove all this paint yeah. because it's, it's all rust and uh, it's coming out of... Uh, what are you using to clean? Is something uh, that kills the bacteria? I'm using this one that is like 99.9% .9 of all the germs. This okay. one that kills like cold and flu viruses. Perfect. And then we have also this one that it's same. And for the stove top, we bought this when we were in the United States. It's a heavy duty oven and grill cleaner. So probably we will apply this, remove everything, and then we can start work on this. But first, now Luca is waiting for the vacuum to it's recharge. Charging. So I can start uh, cleaning and painting and as you can see there is a lot of humidity down there. I'm opening the, the paint. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. We'll start uh, from uh, these two because otherwise if I start from here I will not be able to paint in there and uh, after doing those two I will start from here uh, going backwards Oh, we turn on the ventilator so the air yes uh, it stinks a lot uh, yes yeah, so you see we have this thank you the madness so as you can see in here we painted also in there we painted so Sarah now we'll start uh, Yeah before Luca will go ahead with all the floor the here floor, I will repaint all the frames of the windows The paint that I'm using is 99% antibacterial So I will use this to repaint Lucky Liu inside and also the, the frames There she goes Beautiful Thank you pro Let's do this. Boom. Boom. You don't think that we are just covering the problem without knowing where the leaking is coming from? I, d I don't think that we have a leaking. I think uh, that uh, it's the humidity, you know, when we are sleeping, uh, when we are cooking. Uh, every time uh, we always close all the windows uh, and when we wake up in the morning, we can see all the windows uh, full of water. Because when we breathe, we put a lot of humidity out. When we cook, when we are, when we burn the propane, propane makes uh, humidity. So even uh, hot and warm, hot and warm. Especially, you know, we went uh, all through Central America and South America with 99% of humidity. So I don't think we have a leaking. I think. Uh, it keeps uh, getting moisture especially from this area i think from the window having a window here is something that i really wanted since the beginning to have a toilet and the window we opened this window probably three times in three years you can see how 
how much humidity there is down there. Yeah. So we are just trying to cover all this before we start making some uh, um, something that it could be danger for our health. Now I will start painting all this, you see? All this. This one. This one. This one here. Here when we put the the tire inside Lucky Liu. job i like the effect that you're giving uh, that you can still see under the paint uh, i yeah. like it i don't like when it seems too new because our camper is not new and even when you need to paint i like that you can see some details it's more more real well done good job sarah do you have done the same it's yeah super job. yeah i finished my paint uh, so I cannot finish the, the wood, but uh, it's it's okay because uh, from here it can breathe a little bit. Uh, the yeah. part that was more damaged uh, with more humidity is down there. We wanted to do just half of that, so it's more the what we wanted to do in the beginning. So we so. are super good. You can see all the parts uh, where we have been touching more. Yeah. They are without a paint, uh, like this part. Uh, Do you think you this one? See. Because when we are jumping off the bed, we are touching this one? Because this is the... Yeah, you are always touching that part. That's why Yeah. you can see all the paint uh, is gone. You can see the original color of Lucky Liu. Yeah, it was this brown, uh, fake brown. With uh, golden details yeah i love white i love white because especially in small spaces like a camper you have this light and everything seems to be bigger at the same time white it gets dirty super <laughs> fast yeah it gets yellow do you know guys where everything inside camper just turns yellow uh, even the the lights the details yeah, this one this one was was white and now it's yellow yeah Sure, there it's is a reason. Yellow. I just want to know that we look at Lucky Liu and we are inside a camper and we feel like the beginning when everything was was not brand new but was clean at least. When we Do bought you know? it wasn't clean, it was all dirty. Yeah, know? but after our makeover, ah, our, yes. our, after our refurbishment was like perfect. Okay, let's remove this cover. Okay, so Sarah can paint uh, all this outside. Et voila! Beautiful people. You notice the difference? What do you think, guys? You like it? I love it. Okay guys, I will try to get more parts uh, as possible out uh, to bring them outside uh, and uh, paint whatever I can outside. Uh, and then uh, what I cannot paint outside, I will have to paint it here. We will try to take this part off. Uh, we will need to, to see if we can do it. Uh. Like there is a screw there. Okay, Ooh, ready? Do it. Yeah. Okay. Coming? Yeah. It's loose. It's loose. 
Yes, look at this, uh, how rusty it is. Uh. Okay, th th this is the first one. And look first. at here, how dirty it is. Okay, we will not be able to take it off. Uh. No. So. Okay, okay, leave it like this otherwise. So we will leave it here. I will just uh, leave it like this so we can paint it, uh, take off all the rust and paint it like this and then we'll put it back together. Uh, high heat, uh, alta temperatura. It's uh, it's some paint uh, resistant uh, till 650 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. Matt, Matt high black. heat. It's perfect for barbecues, for um, stove top, for everything where you have heat. So this is the perfect paint. Let's go ahead. Perfect. When you see that uh, all the rust is gone, it means that you are doing a good job, Sara. Perfect. We are taking off all the rust and we have to do it here before painting. Uh, we have never done this before. I'm happy with this. You know, we already paint, lucky you, we already applied the uh, anti-humidity paint, but this one... New job. Now it's time for a little break. Alfa Or, Argentina. Little break. Little break. Now this project and then we are done. You just need to put everything inside again. <laughs> Test. <laughs> We wash all the parts and now we are hanging everything here so we can spray it, paint it. We know that we need to wear a mask while we are spraying and painting, but it was impossible to go out and buy a mask because we can just go to the grocery we don't want to ask for anything and probably the masks are all sold out I like the result What do you think Lydia? you want to say hello? Do you like the result? Ciao! Ciao everybody! What makes this project uh, so long to do? It's not about just painting uh, but it's about uh, taking all these uh, outside the, the camper all these, uh, all these, all these uh, so we have a mess everywhere right now and i would like to clean now all the fabrics and would like to clean the windows from inside the floor it will be dark in a few hours so i think that for the day this will be enough uh, we will we'll call it for a day i will just clean inside it's uh, it's autumn so it's fall and it starts to getting Colder, colder, colder every day. Today we were lucky because it was an amazing day with sun and it was warm. 
so we were able to do this. Okay, but so back to work before yeah. it gets dark. Time to mount back the stove top. I've cleaned the fridge, I've cleaned the floor, I've cleaned everything inside Lucky Liu. Oh, it's beautiful. You like it? Yeah. Look at this. Okay, it's time to put it back together. Wow, it looks amazing. Really aggressive. Done. Wow. Look at that, guys. You like it? No more rust. It was all rusty here, there. Perfect. Beautiful people. It's getting dark. Let me turn this off <laughs> so we we can talk uh, without that. Vent on. We have to wait uh, the paint uh, dry a little bit more because it's still a little bit mm, wet. And then we will put just the mattress in to, to sleep uh, tonight. Uh, and uh, then tomorrow morning, uh, when we wake up, we will show you the result because the light uh, is already gone. <laughs> gone. Uh. Okay, so we'll catch you tomorrow morning, guys. Besitos. Good night. Besitos. Love you. See you tomorrow. Ciao. beautiful people good morning it feels so good to be inside lucky Liu. everything seems so bright it's so bright and clean nice and clean yeah so we will show you now the result it's all white again and look here i love i love the stove top and we already used it uh, last night to cook and this morning to do coffee and uh, tea so it's all working all clean. After painting here, we already put again all the, yeah. you know, all the insulation uh, sheets. Two insulation sheets. Uh. I Maybe have to say, is. last night it was hard to sleep uh, because the smell of the paint was still really strong. We had to sleep with the windows open uh, and the vent on uh, to to keep getting fresh air. But I'm really happy. We still have to do some works there glue some uh, you can see there yeah the wallpaper it's um, it's coming off because uh, when we made this uh, was really cold uh, in Canada it went uh, 40 degrees below zero so really really cold and then when we went to the warm weather all the materials uh, they change the shape and they get loosed uh, so now the glue is not glue anymore it's better if you can do this kind of works and then you sleep outside your camper for one or two nights but now we don't have the possibility to do this so we slept inside Lucky Liu and as Luca said it was not the best option ever but at least now the camper it's it's nice again it's clean again and we can breathe during the night as soon as we don't don't feel the strong toxic uh, paint, paint will be really nice to be in here and what we, uh, we really like from this period that we have time to do what we never had time to do while traveling 
so you know you have everything if you need to put something outside you can do it this is what we like doing everything by yourself and taking care of lucky view okay, now we'll do the final scene sitting here you know and we will not be ashamed of what we have behind us <laughs> we don't have anything behind us it's nice and clean it's, it's, it's kind of uh, the the van tours that they make on YouTube where it's everything uh, new and clean, uh, they don't have anything, so empty. We will do a tour super soon of our truck camper after three years traveling because remember this is, we bought the camper already used second hand, probably forehand. <laughs> yeah. We don't know the history and we rebuild this, we refurbish the camper inside, outside and we have been traveling and living in this camper for three Almost years, three years yeah. guys we hope that you like our cleaning our little makeover interiors of our camper lucky Liu. we love you guys please give us a thumbs up uh, if you like the video and please consider to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done already i'm sarah is luca our channel is Liu live everything and wonder and we are traveling with lucky Liu, our truck camper La vita bella. Life is beautiful. See you on the next one. Ciao.